Cleveland with uh, Boundary Stone, and uh, we're here to help you engage with your world and provide you resources so that you can understand your culture and, uh, and talk with your uh, family and friends and neighbors. Today I'd like to talk with you a little bit about economic justice and economic mercy. You know, justice and mercy are, are really different things, um, and, and we need to be clear about that. So economic justice, we hear a lot of people today going uh, that it's just not just that we have the distribution of goods that we have. And so they're focusing in on who has what, as if that's the measure of justice. But that's really not the measure of justice. Justice is uh, not about who has what. I mean, the, the results can be quite different. Uh, justice is a matter of each man receiving his due, what is due to him. And of course, uh, we have very different talents and abilities. We have different motivations and efforts that we put forward. Uh, for example, uh, you know, a surgeon, a highly skilled surgeon, who has invested a great deal of time and energy and works very long hours, is likely going to make a whole lot more money than someone who, say, uh, picks up your garbage or delivers your mail. Um, why? Well, it's the skills involved. Um, almost anyone can drive a truck, and um, almost anyone can, you know, sort mail and put mail into mailboxes. But it it takes uh, it takes a, a particular skill to be a, a a practicing surgeon who's effective at it, at his or her job. So I mean, think about that. It's not unusual then that a, you know, that a surgeon would have an income that's much higher than a mailman. Um, you know, so it's that, that's the kind of differences make a lot of sense. So economic justice is not everybody having the same thing at the end of the day. Um, the uh, the results can be quite different. Um, Walter Williams tells a, a good story. He says, you know, if uh, we have three individuals playing uh, poker. And it turns out, you know, we will call them individual A, B, and C. And it turns out that A wins 75% of the time. <clears throat> we cannot conclude from that that there's been poker injustice. Uh, may well have played exactly by the rules of the game. He was just a better poker player and uh, in that case. Now, if you cheat, now <laughs> we've got... Injustice. So, in the in the marketplace, cheating is stealing. In other words, taking things from people by force or fraud, that is cheating, and uh, and and so that needs to be punished and prohibited in market exchanges. Um, okay, now economic mercy. Let's get to that for just a minute. Mercy uh, is unmerited favor. You know, when somebody does something for you that you don't deserve, uh, you know, that, that's unmerited, and, uh, and that's charitable. And charity is always, um, it's voluntary sacrifice motivated by love. Now, the very nature of charity is this, it cannot be forced. You know, it, in other words, we can't pass a law and make somebody be charitable to someone else because the, the definition itself is destroyed. Uh, that my definition becomes involuntary sacrifice motivated by fear, which is, by the way, that's the definition of theft. Um, and what happens when you're walking down a, a street at night and someone comes out of a dark alley with a gun and puts a gun to your head and says your money or your life. That is involuntary sacrifice motivated by fear. And it's the same thing when the government comes to you and says, okay, uh, Cleveland, we're gonna take your money because you got too much of it and we're gonna give it to somebody else. And by the way, if you don't pay, we're gonna throw you in jail. <laughs> well, that's involuntary sacrifice motivated by fear. So theft can be public theft if it's purely for redistributional purposes. Government's never charitable. It's not an institution that can be charitable because it doesn't have anything to give that it first didn't take. 
I hope this is helpful to think about as you think about your world. Um, once again, Dr. Paul Cleveland with Boundary Stone, and uh, we're here to provide you resources to help you engage your world. See you next time. Bye. Thank <music> you.